Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Wendy Feel Like It O'Clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. This side of time I said, when we feel like it o'clock. Because if you're not doing this when you feel like it, stop it. Everything, don't do anything unless you feel like it. That's my new philosophy in life. Yep, that's why I do this. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to be giving you picks. Just hold out for a little bit. I'm going to give you some quick picks for the day. There's one, though, we don't have any odds on. One game in particular we're not going to have odds on. I do have a letter here from uh, Terrence Greenbottom from Boise, Idaho. Uh, thank, bring your letter, Send your letters. Guido goes down in the mailroom every day, gets a sack of letters, and they pour it all over the letter table. And you know how it is. We do the Pearl Lewis and dance. Like you do every morning, you know. How you do it every morning? Mr. Mercer, I see you in the morning doing that, walking out your door. Huh? You know you do. You know you do. We're going to talk about our picks for what we did this evening, which is, uh, what time is it now? April 5th it's it's the April 5th today we're gonna do we're gonna look at those we did all right we're up money we're gonna, and then we're gonna look do a little deep dive into why we're picking these picks that we have here um, I want to just mention a little bit when I do my picks quite often I'll do I do picks for every single game and if you follow do all my picks over a month you're gonna be up money Sort of like um, uh, Professor MJ. He does his algorithm, and if you follow it over a long period of time, you'll be up money. I'm sort of like that as well. So I do sometimes over-unders based on whether the other team may win. So like say if, it's, if I think that a Toronto will win, but I want to cover my bet, Toronto will usually be an over, but I'll bet the under because if, say, they're playing Calgary, if they win, it's more likely going to be an under. So I'll bet the under for a little bit to cover my other bet. You understand? And then over time, you make money. It, and you'll, uh, I, I've had one losing week, which was last week, all this, uh, so far this hockey season. And I pretty much, I'm almost positive I won't get maybe one more if that. The rest. I'm all. I'm usually up every week. Okay, so that's if you follow all my picks. Okay, that's what happens. I'll get it's 3:05 into it now. I said within the first five minutes. So for all you, you uh, impatient pants out there, I'm gonna give you your uh, your quick picks so you can be on your way, saving lives and you know whatever it is that you must be doing of great importance to not be able to watch this whole video. I appreciate you. I really, really do. And thank you for the letter. Oh, I didn't even answer the letter. Am I going to be doing a trade deadline show is what Mr. Sweetbottom said and uh, in, from Boise, Idaho. And yes, next week, Monday, trade deadline, I am going to be on John from Off the Wall. See, when you take something and you go like this, it means very important business going on. John from Off the Wall Hockey, go subscribe to him right now. Actually, no, wait till after the video. Write it down right now. Get your, because you've got your, make sure you got all your tools out, your protractors and stuff, because I'm going to give you picks right now. But I'm going to be doing it, so thank you for the letter. Next, it's, I'm going to be doing it from 8 in the morning mountain until 3 in the afternoon, all day. It's going to be so much frolic. Go check it out. Okay, quick picks. Here we go. Caps, ML, over 6. Sabres, puck line, under 5.5. Rangers, ML, over 6. Lightning, ML, under 5.5. Predators, ML, under five and a half. Blackhawks, ML, under five and a half. Sharks, ML, under five and a half. 
Capitals ML over five and a half. And the game that's not available yet is Philadelphia and Boston. I don't know who the goaltenders are going to be. Um, I'm leading Philadelphia right now because they played Vladar and they might be putting the very young kid Swayman in tomorrow. So uh, against uh, Carter Hart, who looked a lot better the last game. So I'm probably going to be leaning Philadelphia. Uh, it's on a back-to-back, -back, so it's hard for me to go over on that. I'm not really liking the total. All right, off with you. Thanks for coming in and checking and getting your picks and going off into the lands. All the other people are going to see why we did the picks, and sometimes I even change them. And by the way, waking up in the morning when I give my picks to Patreon members, who you can become one of any right now. Also, I generally don't give picks on weekends, so if you want weekend picks, you want to head over there, set yourself up with the $25 tier package, and I'll give you a month for free just to try it out. But I could change by tomorrow. Things change. Goaltenders change with COVID injuries. People go on COVID protection or whatever it's called. All of that changes our picks. So I highly recommend you go over to that Patreon. All right, let's look at our picks for today, shall we? Okay. Starting with Senators versus the Jets. I had the Jets on large pearls. We liked them and we had them in reg. Uh, for about 170, I guess it was. So, what did you got? 170 and 70 is 140, 210. We're up on that pick. We lose a little bit because we had the under on this play for half a pearl. So, uh, we lost half a pearl. So, you're looking at one, just over one and a half. We're up. Flyers versus Bruins. We broke even on this. We had the over. I thought this was going to be over all day. But we also had the Flyers puck line, so we uh, it was we we lost a little bit, so we're just up a unit right now. Uh, Oilers versus Canadians, we had the under, we had and we had the Oilers for small, but the under was the larger bet, so we're we were the under paid about one eighty, so we're up two units now. Golden Knights, we had the over. And we had the Golden Knights. I wasn't very confident with the Golden Knights. I only had it for one unit. So, um, and it was it was paying 165. So we're up just over a half a unit on that. And I had um, large pearls on the over. So we're up 80, 80, what are we up? Two, one and a half, two and a half, 270, something like that. Somewhere around there. Uh, Avalanche, we had the Avalanche ML. However, we did have the under for mo for higher pearls. We lost about a unit and a half. So we're up about a unit. Maple Leafs, we had large pearls on uh, the Leafs, which were at 160. So that put us to 180. So we're up just about three, and then we lost a half a pearl on the under. See, I cover my bets a little bit. If the Flames were to win this, it probably would have been under. So I go for the large, but I cover my bet with an under with the possibility of the other. That's grading higher percentage for a little bit lower return, but over time, we're going to be a lot better. Now, this one here, what were we up? Three. This one we have, um, we lost two and a half. So we actually are only up half a pearl today. Because I had, I thought the Kings were going to win this. They could still win this, but they're going to have to score three goals or get, at least get two goals in the last eight minutes here. And we did have the under. So it looks like we're only up half a unit, maybe three quarters of a unit today, but we're still up. Up is good. Try to be up every single day. I thought this was going to be a bigger day than it was. I really thought that the, this was going to be over. I really did. Um, and... I really thought the Jets Senators game was going to be under, and it was going under for most of the game. The third, it kind of broke down a bit. Um, but, you know, not bad. Didn't lose too much money. So let's look at our picks for tomorrow. We didn't lose any money, actually. We we're up money, and that's the main thing. Trying to be up money every single day through the weeks, all of that stuff like that. Uh, we're
we're probably up I think I figured out we're up like 30 and a half units oh not to mention we are we were two for one on on baseball so we were up about half a unit on that and uh, no tennis picks today so it's just we we had three three baseball picks not bad. If you like baseball picks, go over there. Got a really pro Joe. You might know pro Joe. He does our baseball picks. He's the uh, he's the B. Joe Bork is his last name. He's the B part of B pal. He does my baseball picks. He also has his own channel called Sports Fanatic News with a PH because he's a Philadelphia Flyers fan. And he's part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network that we have that I've told you about before. Go to uh, thesteelflyers.com. You get all of our stuff there. All right. We're going to be doing a video again soon, too, actually. Uh, actually, we just did a trade deadline video with Steel Flyers and uh, eMoney from, uh, from uh, On The Money. Go check that out. It's, about, it's one of my videos I just did, my most recent videos. It's really good. Okay, tomorrow we're looking at... Florida versus Carolina. I'm going the Canes and over six here. I think Bob Brofsky will likely be in that. I don't think, you know what, I don't even really, I didn't even really bother checking to see if there's any confirmation on goaltenders yet. Oh, there is. Igor Shosturkin is in for the Rangers. Carter Hart will be in, just like I thought. So right now it's projected that Blackwood and Allmark will be, or that's the Devils game. Uh, that's the Buffalo and Sabres game. Where's the Canes game? There it is. Mrazek and Bobrovsky. That, those two goaltenders spell, smell like an over to me. Um, not to mention the way the Panthers are playing. Uh, the problem is, is that there's some significant injuries with uh, the Panthers here. And uh, maybe they might have a little more difficult time scoring. Is that six? Ish. Jeez, I may change that to under six by the morning. Let me sleep on it. But right now I got over six. So um, that was just off the top of my head because these are early, early, early leans and picks. Uh, but I'm taking Carolina on the uh, money line there. Yeah, money line. I really like them with all the injuries that Florida has here uh, to win that game. New Jersey versus Buffalo. I'm going Sabres on the puck line here. Uh, I believe, what's the, what is the pain again? 157, eh, that's pretty light, but it's pretty safe. Um, I think, and I'm gonna go the under here. Not much scoring on both of these guys. Olmark has been playing exceptionally well since he came back. And besides the last game against Washington, Blackwood looked fantastic too. So I think the under is probably the best play here. But I'm going to go Buffalo puck line because you're only getting 163 on New Jersey. To me, that's low juice. If I'm going to do anything here, if I'm going to go nuts, go Buffalo for 243. That's value. There's a really good chance Buffalo could win that game. Not a bad play there. Uh, Pittsburgh versus the Rangers. As you noticed, I took the Rangers here money line. Uh, against against Pittsburgh because um, Shesterkin is in net. I just think Shesterkin's going to come around here, and uh, um, it just feels like a win for the Rangers here. Sometimes you're just going by feel. As far as total is concerned, I think you got to go over on this game anyways. Uh, DeSmith had a rough go last time. Maybe they'll go with Jari. <laughs> Uh, if Jari is available, I'm not sure. Is Jari available now? Yes, he's available. I could see the range. I could see that being a very high scoring game regardless. Um, just sometimes I'm going on a hunch. I'm going on a hunch. I just feel like the, it just feels like a Rangers win there. So, so, so I usually have a reason, but sometimes I don't have reason to what I'm doing. Uh, Capitals ML over the Islanders and um, for the most part I'm doing that because of the juice you're getting. Uh, the Islanders could definitely win that game. I really like the way Washington's playing. Samsonov will be in. Should be a hard-fought battle. Um, 
I'm going to go over here too. The Islanders have been going over at home a lot. And Washington's been going over period a lot. So I like the over on that play. Boston versus Philadelphia. There's no odds because we don't have any goaltenders. Uh, apparently, they uh, Boston could have that kid in. I'm going to go to probably go with Philadelphia on this one, and uh, probably go the over. I'm guessing it'll be five and a half. And I, but I don't know. And you're probably getting pretty good juice on Philadelphia. Tampa Bay versus Columbus. Uh, I, Columbus is voodoo. Really voodoo. Um, Merzlikens will be in. Tampa Bay seems to have problems with Columbus a lot. And they seem to play down to their competition a lot. They just lost to Detroit 4-1. It seems something is amiss there. I don't like this game, basically, in general. I just don't like I don't like this game, really. So I'm going to say Columbus PL, but I'm probably going to red flag that game for anyone, really. Uh, Tampa could easily win that game if they got their heads get, get got their heads out of their butts here. So, um, yeah. Detroit versus Nashville. I'm going Nashville here. I just like uh, Detroit has been playing well. Great. Grice has played a little better since he's started to get a rhythm going. But overall, I like Nashville's game. Um, uh, did Nashville, is Nashville going to get anybody else back? That would help out a lot, too. No, the whole oh jeez, look at all the guys they have. Arvidsson's out, I forgot about that. You know what? Detroit PL might be the play. Either Nashville ML, what are you, uh, you're not getting enough for the Detroit on the puck line, I don't think. 150. Yeah, Nashville ML, under is the play here though. Under is the play. I like the under. Under five and a half total, right? Yeah, under is the play. Dallas versus Chicago. I'm taking Chicago. Dallas has got, got too many injuries. They're trying hard, but they it's just too many injuries. Kirby Doc should have his legs by now. Lankinen should be in net. I like Chicago, and I like the under five and a half here. Anaheim versus San Jose. I'm taking San Jose to win their fourth game in a row. Uh, I'm also going to go the under here. Jones has been playing phenomenal. They're probably going to keep on flowing with him. Gibson should be in net. Anaheim doesn't have much scoring power. San Jose could blow them up, but more often than not, it usually ends up like a 4-1, 4-0 game in these type of games. So I'm going San Jose. Um, I may even go in reg here and, and beef up the juice. What's the... 163. I may even go in reg. I'm so confident in that play. Okay, boys and girls, that's our full 42. Uh, we're trying to hit a thousand subs. Because if we hit a thousand subs, I start to bring in the dineros, the YouTube dineros, and uh, that allows me to be able to continue bringing these fine pro this fine programming and doing a lot of other stuff. I'm going to be doing videos uh, just on regular hockey videos as well. Um, and eventually I'm going to be going over to my other channel, BPAL Picks, where I'll be doing tennis videos and all kinds of stuff like that. I do kick butt tennis. My tennis, I run at 75% of my picks. If you put a unit on every one, you're up a lot, a lot. <laughs> Make a lot of money on tennis. So, uh, you can find those picks on Patreon. I will be doing them on uh, my BPOW channel. Head over to my BPOW channel. Just look up BPOW Picks. Maybe I'll put the, I don't have many followers there now, so we can get that built up too. And uh, I'll be doing other sports picks and all that kind of stuff like that. I also have a BPOW TikTok. Go check it out. I put some picks there every once in a while too. That's my full 42, everybody. Have a great day. Hit the subscribe. Put your parlays down there. Tell me what your picks are in the comment section. Let's connect. I like to talk down there. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.